for today, I'm going to share some of my personal experience working with Vidi, uh, Wikipedia. So before this kind of project was, uh, um, was settled, uh, in most cases, I'm a Wikipedia user. So I just use Google to get information. So what's behind the Wikipedia and who are contributed, how they contribute, mm. and I don't have any idea at all. So, <laughs> so uh, last month I joined LaGuardia Community College, and they, they start uh, they invite people to partic participate uh, uh, translation translation project. So I mm -hmm. went to uh, I went to LaGuardia and I stayed there for two or three hours. Uh, the Wikipedia we all know we have Wikipedia. The main language is English. So it needs people who has linguistic talents, mm. and also some kind of bank, cultural background, to translate those articles into another language. So Wikipedia, they start the translation force. They select, they focus on the medicine. They select uh, a list of hundreds of articles, and uh, that is done by professors and researchers. They have very, very good credentials. So they wanted to translate to another language. So I did, uh, I did the translation, and uh, the the summary is here. Here in this one, you can find a list of all these articles in the medicine, short articles in the medicine. What I did, I chose, uh, I, I chose hair loss. I simply because I'm losing hair too. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> okay. So what's the <laughs> So that is hair loss. It's translated it's in English. This is a long version, and they have a brief version too. And uh, this part is the English translation, the Chinese translation. And uh, what I translated as uh, a few weeks ago, I received a message, sorry, your translation has been deleted because it's overlap. <laughs> it was what? Overlap. overlap. That's, that's not it was an overlap. Okay. Yeah, so that means we have two people who are doing contributing to this. Okay. Mm -hmm. He says, okay, we have to combine those together. And uh, so that will be, that will be, uh, that will be deleted. Did they tell you which one is better? Yeah, they tell that one's better. My better. version is better. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So that's my first. That's my first experience with uh, Wikipedia, <coughs> and uh, my second experience of working with, working with Wikipedia is, uh, I went to two weeks ago. Uh, I went to the uh, Metropolitan Museum. Uh, they have a, they have an Asian Asian Month, so they started to invite people to. Uh, to make some Wikipedia entries, so that was in the Sunday, and it started from 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 eleven o'clock, ten thirty, all the way to four o'clock in the afternoon. Just like we have, we have food, we have drinks, and uh, I work with the one of the curator. So I wanted, to, I said, I, I want to contribute, and uh, because I'm really interested in Chinese history, archaeology, and calligraphy and art, these sort of things. Could you help me say, uh, select one of the things I can focus on for the day and uh, create an entry? So she said, okay, why, since you interest the calligraphy, why don't you just, they just started a digitization, pro digitization project. The huge, huge amount of Chinese calligraphy uh, was digitized and published on the uh, uh, Metropolitan Museum's website. So this is one of the one of the Chinese calligraphy. This is one of the Chinese Chinese calligraphy, and all the digitized all these digitized Chinese calligraphy, uh, they contribute. <coughs> they contribute to uh, to to Wiki Commons. So that is where I can legally use one of the pictures to display it uh, in a Wikipedia entry. I'm just going to create. Otherwise, I didn't. I didn't know. I thought there's any pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this is the one of the entry that I created. Uh, for the background, it's a, it's a calligraphy. Uh, it's a calligraphy. It's a Chinese calligraphy written by of the artist that is in the, 
10th, uh, 10th, living in the 10th century. And what I identified, what I identified, the, web, the curator, they wants me to take the title from their metadata. I realized, okay, you, so I, I, I talked with the curator, I said, I, uh, probably I have to disagree because your metadata only tells part of the story. It tells the biography of Lianbo and then Lin Xiaoru, but it doesn't tell the story of the calligraphy. Who wrote this calligraphy? So they only tell the biography of this person. Oh, sorry. Biography of Lian Xiaoru Lin to, to here. It's a biography, the Chinese general and uh, the premier, that's basically the story. But they didn't tell, the translation didn't tell. That is in the Northern Sun Dynasty, and a calligraphy by a calligrapher, the Huang Tingjian, and a grass, it's the grass style. No, uh, the, what, what I know, the people, they email us, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to edit this. And other people email the, 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 that's on the top of the, so the talk says, okay, I'm going to revert to that. I'm going to revert to what you edit. So it's not a solid. When we really, as a librarian, we to encourage you to quote something. We have to has authority and has solid. This is too, too changeable.